<clears throat> Top of the morning, everybody, on this glorious Thursday. Um, I posted the footage of the Dykeman dudes apologizing and shaking their hands of the black dudes, and they said it was a misunderstanding. That's cool. That's appreciated, because we don't need, you know, the ethnicities going against each other and fucking the hood up and this shit turn into some race war, and you know, I wanted to say this, you know, this for all, this all races, including black people. When a lot of dudes do jail time, and when dudes come home from doing a jail time, dudes be institutionalized and still be adopting or, impl or implementing these tribal jail ways. And what I mean by that is this. If you go to like the feds, the Serenio Mexicans, they not allowed to double bunk with blacks and shit like that and, you know, certain cultures and, you know, in jail is a lot of separation, you know, the Aryan nations is over here, this group over here, that's in the feds. New York City over here, Cali over here, and, you know, it, it, it's so many divisions, it's ridiculous. And then, you know, in the New York State Penitentiary, is the same way, you know, the Muslims is here, the, the Trinitarios is here, the Latin Kings is here. The Bloods here, Crips there, Nubians there, 5% is there, Rat Hunters there, you know, the 1% is there, the Condoneros, you know, it's different gangs and families and all type of different shit. You know, um, the thing about Muslims, is, you know, it's all races. It's all races, Spanish, white, black, blue, so, you know, we're like, you know, kind of like a melting pot, even though in prison is predominantly black, the Muslims, right? Um, you know, people bring some of that stuff home. So y'all gotta be careful, you know, when your friends is around y'all and they start implementing or promoting that shit, y'all gotta check them. We passed that. I agree with them what they said when um, they say, yo, no loot in the mom and pop stores and the, you know, the black and Latino businesses, I, I, I agree. Go downtown, hit the big spots that's insured, if y'all gonna, if y'all gonna do that. You know, the Gucci stores, the Louis stores, you know, they got insurance, the jewelry stores and stuff like that. Um, one thing I do, um, I would say condone, but one thing I don't knock if dudes is hitting gun stores, Army and Navy stores, Home Depots, because that's where they got the hammers, the fire extinguishers, the chainsaws, the gas masses, you know, the nail guns and all type of utensils. If dudes is if dudes is tearing spots like that down, banks, and if dudes, you know, choose to burn the precincts down because, you know, they have a gripe with the law enforcement, you know, if that's a different story. I ain't gonna say I condone it, I ain't gonna say I knock it, you know, do what y'all do, you know, that's a different type of movie. Another thing, if dudes is robbing jewelry stores, I don't care where the jewelry store's at. Fordham Road, Fort Knox, downtown. The difference with that is this. Dudes been looting Africa for over 500 years. To this very day as we speak, to this very day as we speak, and, and I'm talking on this blog, Africa is being looted for our natural resources, right? Africa don't need the world. The world needs Africa. Let me say that again. Africa doesn't need the world. The world needs Africa. We got all you diamonds, gold, coffee. We got everything. We don't never have to deal with nobody else. But due to all this colonization, imperialism, and all this fucking, the European conquest and white supremacy, you know, everything is scattered all over, right? People is all over, even though we've been traveling. But before it was a barter system, like Africa would deal with the Indians, it was a barter system, or whatever. Slavery always existed, because black people had blacks in slavery first, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, we know that. So, you know, black people can't, really get mad at slavery. Some would say, oh, our slavery was different. It wasn't like day slavery. It wasn't like chattel slavery. Dudes wasn't getting ripped, raped or whatever, whatever. Whatever may it be, man, whatever. Slavery is slavery, man. So, you know, that's a whole nother story. But Africa's being looted to this day. It's been looted for over 500 years. The whole world thrives off our gold, our oil, 
uh, diamonds, the cell phones, the chips that's in the cell phones, that 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 element or or, um, or whatever that shit come from Africa. America just looted Gaddafi. Gaddafi has seventy trillion dollars worth of gold. These niggas said he was a bad guy. He was a terrorist. Mind you, his country was like basically nearly perfect, doing the right thing for everybody. Free education, free medical. Nobody was homeless. Like everything. Like you know, he switched the whole script. Whatever he did in the '80s is another movie. Remember, he was fucking with America in the '80s and all that, or the '70s. But he reversed all that, and you know, he became a different, a different movie. But um. These dudes painted them out to be a bad guy. They bodied Gaddafi. Where that 70 trillion in gold went? Where all them bars of gold went? That 70 trillion dollars worth of gold, where is it at now? Who got it? Who you think got it? The European forces, man. America, Britain, UK, they took that shit, man. They don't want nobody to win. America's like, like the, and this, I'm not talking about the white people that's amongst us, like white trash, the little Nazis, the people living in trailers. I'm not talking about these people. I'm talking about the globalists, the people that got the power, right? America's the bum, at, the, the, these European countries are like haters. They hate, like they don't know why these, these lands of people with color is blessed with, with all type of natural resources. They, they hate that Africa is blessed with all this gold and shit like that and Europe is cold and you know they make wines and and you know they try to reverse it and put value on they shit which is really nothing the American dollar is nothing people selling they soul for printed up paper that shit ain't no natural element that shit is paper well it comes from trees but it has no real value but they tried to reverse it to make they shit look better that's like I'm a bum ass nigga and I wear skippies and y'all got Yeezys but I'm, I'm, but I'm a shooter and I'm tougher than y'all. I conquer y'all. And then I make the Skippies look like it's more expensive and more better to wear than the Yeezys. And I glorify the Skippies. So they glorify the American dollar. But that dollar is bullshit. Gaddafi had more money than the whole America. But they always try to make they shit like it's best. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, this the finest wine is fermented. It came from Italy and Europe. That's rotten grapes. That's acidic fruits. That, that ain't even healthy for us. They try to promote yogurt and eating sushi and, and eating medium rare meat. Who want to fucking eat meat with blood? That's, that's carnivorous. That's, that's, that's vampiric. That's, that's vampire shit and all that. That's demonic. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, people got to be mindful of this, man. You know, these people is hateful, man. They want to, you know, they mad we can... Dudes be in the Sahara Desert. You see my skin glowing. My skin be that sun be beaming my shit. I'm, come on, man. I'm honey nut brown, man. I'm honey brown. My shit looking, my shit looking, you know, succulent and all that. They don't like none of that, man, because them niggas be burning in the sun on some vampire shit. Some be eating them up, peeling their skin and all that. So they, you know that you know white supremacy is real deep. Eugenics. The helium theories and all type of shit. There's a lot of different demonic shit going on. And y'all gotta know this, man. So let's not be separated. Minority, so-called minorities, people of color. Let's stick together. You know, let's stay strong and let's stay focused, man. And don't let them take us off our A-game, man. You know, but like I keep telling y'all, Africa is being looted to this day from them niggas robbing Gaddafi from China, having bases set up and acting like they fake help in Africa with building railroads and cities, but really they want our natural resources. Then at the same time, they hate us. They're oppressing the blacks in, in China. And then in, and then in certain parts of Africa, the Chinese, they got little Chinatowns. How the fuck you set up little Chinatowns in Africa? There's no little Africa in Chinatown. So, you know, there's a lot of funny shit going on, man. And we got to know who's with us and who's against us, who's our enemies and who our allies. And, and, you know, I don't care what jewelry stores get robbed. If dudes going to rob jewelry stores, do it, man. Just don't get caught, man. Handle your handle because that's our gold and diamonds anyway. At the end of the day, that's our gold and diamonds. All the gold and diamonds in America is ours. It's African. It's our shit. They stole it. Iron, intelligence rule over negative nonsense. Warlord. Wisdom and righteousness is low over reckless decisions. Stay up like a cup, I'll back on my collar crack. Oh no.